Okay, so I was walking this morning, getting to where I needed to be. You know, I was kind of out about, minding my business, enjoying the day. And all of a sudden, this gentleman who was not black or African or African American was there with his daughter and he was like, hey, you want a you wanna daughter? And I was like, sure. But then I looked at her expression and she was looking like, ill like no i was like i don't mind but she don't she looks like she's quite bothered and he was like he said it again as i got closer because i was walking he was like you want a daughter i was like sure but she don't look like she want me i said perhaps i'm too chocolate um and i had only said that because me being in this region i noticed that some um europeans and even some minorities um like i can say something to them and they literally look at me like I'm stupid. They do not respond. So I know some of them are racist. And then I know some of y'all would be like, well, what if they don't speak English? They was literally just speaking English. Like, I see a lot of them, they'll be staring at me. And this may be like some of the Hispanics, you know, um, they just might be staring at me because maybe they don't see a lot of dark-skinned people out here. Like, they have mixtures, but not really dark people. They have a few Haitians, but they kind of keep quiet. But me, I'll be like, hey, excuse me, how much is this or what's that? And if I ask them a question, some of the Anglo-Saxons and some of the Spanish people, they like don't say nothing not all of them but some of them so like particularly yesterday I was at Chick-fil-a and I had asked um, I asked a white man first he didn't say nothing I asked a Hispanic man and his son they was just talking in English and staring at me the whole time so they did speak English and I asked them I said what time is it like three of them didn't say nothing to me I went from one person to the next to a white lady she didn't speak either so finally this white man told me what time it is so i'm used to the fact that in this area in massachusetts a lot of people are racist and then either the, some of the hispanics are just not used to like just straight black people or dark people and they just kind of look at you like you're crazy not all of them but some so as i got closer and he was like you want to do it i was like yeah but she looked like she quite bothered like she looked like she was disgusted she was like yeah and so i was like maybe i'm too chocolate that's why i said that so y'all can understand the reference i said maybe i'm too chocolate for her and um he was like he literally said yeah too chocolate and I'm thinking in my head, did this man just say I'm too black? Like, so I just proceed on down the yellow brick road. And I'm thinking to myself, I say, I like being chocolate. I love being black. Black is beautiful, one thing. And all of us are beautiful, no matter our nationality. It's not a pride thing. God made all of us in different colors. But this is what I want to say. I gotta calm down because I'm getting a little roused up because I felt like that was rude because I feel like a black kid or a white kid might do the same thing like no nah, I'm good they may not look disgusted but they be like no my mom's black or my mom's white that's not my mom but they won't be like I feel like that was coming from a place of racism or oh you're ugly because you're a black woman I don't have an ugly black mom like I felt like that was because she was looking like she was making some hard looks to be a kid so to me it was like she was disgusted that oh no my mom's not black she's Spanish like Spanish is better nobody's better than the other so that disgusted me and it's kind of it kind of reminded me of that um i believe it was the black eyed peas and they said if you only have room to love your own race then you only leave room to discriminate for everybody else and that's not just for white folks a lot of people like to say oh whites are the only racist that's not true black people can be racist asians can be racist mexicans can be racist anybody can be racist and a lot of times we hate on we hate on each other, okay? But I was disgusted because I feel like he was failing her as a father. Um, for one, because she could look like she was disgusted at the fact that I was a black woman. Like, no, my mom can't be black. And I'm thinking to myself, you have these women that grow up hating black women or hating on black women and feeling like we're ugly and we're not beautiful, that they're more beautiful than us. But these same women grow up to marry a black man or to love a black Chico stick and have these biracial kids, which I don't have a problem with because God is love. I don't have a problem with it. But what I have a problem with is when you hate me as a black woman, but you want to marry the black man. And then you treat us black women like you're better than us. You assume you're better than us or you're more beautiful than us. Then your kids grow up and you have them thinking that they're better than regular black women because they're mixed. This is what these type of women grow up because they grow up in a racist household that look down on black women, but then they grow older and love black men. And that's what I said to her because her daddy told me, she was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, too chocolate. Like, what? I'm thinking like, what the heck? And I literally looked at him. And so I said, okay. I looked at the little girl and I said, remember that when you get older, because I know everybody love a black man because a black man is everybody. You can say you love your own, but when they get older, they're going to want some, and if they're going to want some black Chico stick for sure. So I said... 
he's failing her because he's low key teaching her racism, you know. And you don't know if something she don't know if something could happen to her Spanish mommy or daddy, or this could be a white couple, anybody that's racist. You don't know what can happen to your family, and then you might be right. You might have to have a black mom or somebody that you look down on have to take you in or adopt you. You don't know how God got a way of moving things around to get that hatred or that racism or that ugliness out of your heart. So you can't. Um, you need to foster your kids in an environment that teaches them that we are all God's children and to not just love and accept and think that people are beautiful that look like them or that speak the same language because it's ignorance and it's ignorance to say that minorities cannot be racist to other minorities because it's, it is very true and as a black woman I have experienced that a lot <laughs> a lot growing up in Dallas and especially here in Massachusetts the fact is that I'm up north and they're more racist than they are in the south which is crazy because back in the day the slaves used to come to the north for freedom but I find that in this area of Massachusetts there ain't too many like chocolate chocolate people there are mixed people that can go like this way that way they can go for like white Spanish a mixture and that's okay as long as you're not fully black because if you're fully black something's wrong with that that's you can't be beautiful and just be black you have to be mixed according to these people so then if you're fully black and you're beautiful then you're a threat and I want to let you know that we ain't having that and that's a problem so I don't care if you're black white whatever do not raise your kids to only think that only their kind is beautiful or to have hatred toward other people or to be hating on other people because you don't know who's going to be a blessing to you in your future. You don't know who you're going to marry. You don't know if something happens to your parents and you got to be raised by that black woman or that white woman or whatever. And it can go back ways. Both ways, black people can be racist, though we tend to not be. We've always accepted everybody. But it is some that are, very few. Um, because we always the worst ones that are hated. There are people that accept brown people but hate black people. I've seen that. I had a Mexican man come to Arts Magnet he was telling his people how they come from Native Americans um, because you know Hispanics are mostly and the majority European still okay this is why they still look like Europeans with a mixture of Native American and a little bit of Spanish and Spaniards are still European but he was telling them how this white man told him I don't have a problem with brown people he said I have a problem with black people and the Mexican man said no I'm not for that so that's how you have to be because if not you're gonna be like this little girl that looked at me this morning like ill my mom's not a black woman black women are ugly that would never be me I'm beautiful and I'm Spanish and we can be beautiful in whatever we are but we don't need to look down on other people and I got the feeling that as, as young as that little girl was she thought oh she's ugly she's black my mom would never be ugly and black and clearly I'm not even ugly <laughs> and even if I was God is love we're all made in God's image but the fact well I think what disgusted me more because she's a child and I can look over that because to me if a child is acting that way that shows how her parents are raising her what disgusted me more was when I said oh maybe I'm too chocolate for her because a lot of them in that community are light or you know um, not really too many chocolate chocolate melanated people you know they're just kind of more light skin on the light skin side it disgusted me because he was like, yeah, too chocolate. I'm like, this man said I was too black, baby. Black is beautiful. The darker the berry, the sweet to the cherry. I know that black is beautiful. And this is why I want to tell you black people, be careful. If you move into places that are predominantly European, be careful. Because when you have these kids, and especially if they just black folks, um, black kids, maybe if they mix, they'll have it a little easier. I hate to say it, but it's true that way because they look kind of like both of them. But if you just have straight up black kids like me, brown and dark skin with coarse hair, white people are not going to love on us. I'm not saying that all white people are racist, but they're not going to teach you who you are like, like you would if you grew up with a mixture. And me, I grew up along around a lot of strong black women in Dallas and in Georgia, and they taught me that black was beautiful. So when when well, Caucasian people would tell me like when I went to Arts Magnet and when I was in Pleasant Grove they was like oh no black is the absence of all color black is this my mom was my mom said no black is beautiful <laughs> we, we automatically take that as a threat when you in school and you get somebody they and they can just be talking about colors they'll be like black is the absence of all colors it's nothing it's it's and my mom was like no black is beautiful like don't come for our kids but when you grow up in the south around a lot of strong black women and black men they instill that in their black children even if they're biracial they teach you to love your blackness when you come to a place like where I'm at there are not a lot of black people and they're kind of racist and they're racist in the south too but they're not going to teach you to love who you are hold on
when I be around here and I'm coming from the South, I'm coming from Dallas, and you know we have big personalities, we ask questions, we talk, we be like, hey, how you doing? We gonna be like, hey, what this, what's that? What's... They gonna look at you like you crazy if you you a little too dark to be talking to me. They kind of racist. So if you ra if you coming from the South, you coming where there's strong black presence and strong black teachers and, and people and churches and families that teach black kids that they're beautiful, who you are about our people, what we've done, that no, we are not nobodies, what people tell us, that you are somebody, that you help build America, that you're great. And you come to a place like this and you don't know who you are and your kids haven't been rooted in that. Some of these black people, I see the few ones walking around, Haitians people, they be walking around with their head down. They all be quiet. They don't know who they are because they don't foster us in this community. They don't foster like straight black people. They don't foster that. So you have to be careful where you move. Research the area you're moving to. Because they may foster some minorities, but not black people. So you need to research that. You have to be so careful. Now, I'm not preaching hate here. I'm just telling y'all my story as a black woman. I'm going to come back to this topic again. In that song, I love that song and I like the video too. But in that song, the, the his and it was a Hispanic dude that was rapping, he like a sweet guy. And he was like, um, if you only have room, if you only have love for your own race, you only leave room to discriminate. This is for everybody. Y'all parents do not fail your kids and have them thinking anybody is ugly. Don't have them thinking that the white man is the devil or that white people are all racist or that black people are all ugly or that whatever these stereotypes are because we know that good and bad people come in every race, every race. So teach them to love everybody. Teach them that we're all beautiful, not just the ones that look like and speak like them or go to their church or have their skin. We are all God's children. Don't teach them to look down on nobody because it's ugly for a child to sit there and judge you and you're not even, well, it's, it's ugly and it's sad because we're both minorities, but she's judging me thinking, oh, she's an ugly black woman. She couldn't be my mom. That's ugly. And then for her father to be like, yeah, no chocolate, like you're too black. That's ugly. And that's not God. And I'm not saying that black people can't be nasty and ugly because we can be towards ourselves. We ain't never stuck together or anybody else. So this is not putting nobody down it's to remind y'all parents to teach them that first of all we are all made in god's image we're all the same we come in different colors and ethnicities because if we were all the same we'd be boring but we're all the same as far as we're all god's children we're all made in god's image we're all humans so don't get caught up in the different colors and races and start thinking somebody is better or less than the other um because at the end of the day you don't know it's something to happen to your parents and if that person or that ethnicity you look down if they're going to take you in or adopt you or buy you that car or, or you'll marry into you don't know god got a way to humble people so show love show love and y'all women out there for some of you women out there that love black men but hate black women remember that that fine black man that you love and when you having sex with that fine black man remember that he came out of a black vagina and that he came from a black woman at the end of the day boop okay let me bust your bubble okay so spread love god is love god is love i love y'all each and every one of y'all my hispanic sisters my chinese sisters the indians the arabians i love i love ethnicity we are all beautiful and women are beautiful in every color god made a beautiful thing when he made woman and the same thing with the man okay but i ain't gonna lie the black man is the finest i can't lie anyway god bless y'all be blessed and again I'm down with the swirl. I love black love as a black woman. I love multiracial love. God is love. As long as it's a man and a woman, it's God's word. That's what's up. But let's not spread hatred. Teach your kids not to be racist, please. Because that's not what's up. Teach your kids that we are all the same and that God is love. Goodbye. I'm out. And be 